I'm here with Mo Cinturania, and Mo, you just busted the 5K 6 Max in this pretty gnarly fashion. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I just got it in Queens against fives, and the river to five, I mean, happens. So when you go, it's been happening to you a lot, it seems. When you go from a bigger buy-in event like a 5K, and then you're now in the 1K, where's your headspace at? How do you sort of, you know, go back to a smaller buy-in event, bigger field? Um... You know, it's like a different tournament because when you're playing a bigger buy-in, especially six max, you're getting into a lot of big decisions on the river, on the turn. And then when you're playing a 1K, you're kind of just coasting because no one's really going to put you to the test very often. And most of your uh, play is just on the flop and free flop. So it's a completely different game. Uh, so for this one, I'm just playing carefree and bluffing a lot and uh, having more fun and taking it less seriously. Obviously at a 5K6 max, the tables are more stacked with pros as well, and here you're getting a lot of amateurs. Not that 5K6 max, but yeah, in general, they are stacked. Um, but yeah, this one you're also playing nine-handed, so you're not playing as many hands as you are in a 6 max. Um, and the stacks aren't as deep, so people are shorter stacks, so you're making a lot of very trivial pre-flop decisions. Um, but yeah, it's also really fun, because if you can get chips in this, because there's a lot of amateurs uh, you can splash around and play a lot of pots. So when do you start taking this a little more seriously? Is it when you're in the money, when the antis are a little higher? Uh, I would say you should probably start taking it seriously from level one. But because I came in here kind of tilted, uh, I just started shoving a lot of hands early and got lucky and doubled up. So I'd say I'm probably going to start taking it seriously right around day two. But probably for the rest of the day, I'm just going to mess around and try to build a big stack. Well, I know you say take it seriously at the start of a tournament, but when you're not very deep, you sort you know your stack isn't very big. You kind of do have to shove in the early levels and try to build up a bigger stack. Otherwise, you're not really going to make it very far. Yeah, I also registered with 15 big blinds, uh, as I'm sure a lot of people are going to do at some point in this tournament. So I guess taking it seriously is a little different for me. Uh, it's all relative to how big your bankroll is and uh, how many tournaments you're going to play at the World Series this summer and. Uh, how important it is to for you to win a bracelet or to win uh, or just to win a 1k so it just depends does the bracelet thing mean anything to you or just winning a tournament means more uh i think the bracelet thing is fun if you win something really cool like the 10k six max uh, i think other than that uh, obviously for some people it means a lot uh I, as long as first place is a lot of money i don't care well, I know, because people always talk about the Triple Crown, the WPT, EPT, and then the bracelet win. And you've done the WPT and the EPT, so this is not something you really think about? Uh, maybe when I'm deeper in tournaments, I think about it. But you can't think about that kind of stuff on day one or even the beginning of day two. So, no, not really. All right. Well... Spoiler alert, this is my fiance, so I really hope he wins a tournament and a bracelet. He may not want to. I'll probably win this one. I'll probably win this one, Kay. All right, you guys, you heard it here first at pokernews.com. Most in Charania winning the 1K.